Happy Friday, St. Louis. Friday means it's shoe cam. And look at these bad boys. I'm actually really excited about these. Those I bought so these a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. And I didn't buy them. I was like, I don't have anything in my closet to wear with them. I'm not a... They go with everything. What are you talking about? They do. About? But then when I got home, I was like, <gasps> I got $100 off of them. No way. Oh, yeah. They had, they were coming home. You know why I like them? You could dance in them. You could oh, hike in them. Oh, they're comfortable. Right. You could I'm hike I'm a fan. <laughs> right? They're so awesome. Today, I bought these, what, in December so that we pulled them out today. I'm excited. You look fabulous. You, you look fabulous, too. What are you rocking Well, today, I am rocking my Gloria Steinem boots because today is the 1st of March. Mm, yes, ma'am. Which is Women's Month. Woo-hoo! Woo so I am rocking the, the 60s you Gloria great. Steinem. She has a great documentary, Julianne Moore is in. Okay, so, so I have to go watch it. Oh, wait. The, and these are my daddy's glasses. That... Oh, I like it. <laughs> I like it. So empowering Flashback women. Flashback Friday, empowering yes. women. Yeah. I'm here for all of it. And speaking of empowering yourself. Yes. Let's talk about how we can empower ourselves, focus our minds on the future, set the vision. And what's the big word on TikTok? Manifest. 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 That's all you see everywhere. So have you heard before we were talking about it, 369? No. Crazy. So 369 is apparently this thing that Nikola Tesla mm -hmm. came up with. Mm -hmm. um, they are the three numbers that are only spiritual numbers. Okay. You have to look up the whole thing of okay. how that Let's is. Go on, deep, go on the deep dive later. Yeah, go that later. Okay. But if you want to manifest, there are certain ways that you do this with using those 369 um, numbers. Okay, and you actually bought this book. I bought I. TikTok made me buy it. <laughs> TikTok made me do it. <laughs> it and it's basically saying you write down three manifestations in the morning, mm -hmm. six in the afternoon, and nine in the evening. Yes. You notice I haven't started it no, yet. No, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know and, why? Why? Because I actually took notes because mm -hmm. I wanted to be perfect, you know, which no, is so that's typical so of me. That's so real. Right? I mean, you have to be specific. And I like that you yes. said, you know, I am a firm believer. The Bible talks about like writing the vision down, making it plain. And these are just things that remind you like, hey, I am in control of decisions that affect my future. Yep. Or hey, I am perfect as I am. Yep. Because you are. Yeah. And you have to remind yourself and encourage yourself. And that, believe yes, it. And believe That's it. That's the number one thing. If you can say, oh, I'm going to be have a million dollars and do a Jim Carrey and write mm -hmm. a check for a million. But if you don't believe it and you don't feel you deserve it, then it's not. No. Yeah. Then you got to find out why that is. And that's so important. The affirmations really come into play with this too, because you have you know affirmations on this side plus what you're hoping and believing in. So this affirmation says, "I am beautiful," and then it also encourages you to write nine positive affirmations because that's self talk. It is absolutely. Ooh, you got to hype yourself up. And no one else is going to do it but better you. than you. Mm -hmm. I always say mm -hmm. your real first soulmate and true soulmate is the one is in the you. mirror. Hey, man, girl, this yep. is the perfect way to start women's history. I love month. this. I love this, too. <laughs> it's exciting. Now, now, this is also really cool. This kind of ties into it, those kind of affirmations that you believe in. Sometimes when you have what you believe in and your, your core, yes. it's also kind of disagreeing with people, too. Yes. And this is a very <laughs> difficult thing to do is mm -hmm. how do you disagree with someone um, without being mean or... And, and standing up for yourself. Oh, 100%. Especially women have a hard, harder time. My, my favorite phrase is, we're going to have to agree to disagree on this one. <laughs> oh, I like that one. <laughs> we just need to agree to disagree. I, I, you know, I, I have a very hard time with this mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. So I tend to do something more along the lines of, um, I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. um, let me think about this. I, um, not sure if I totally agree. There we go. You okay. know, it's kind of, it's, you know. But isn't that passive aggressive or no? It can be, it depends on how you look at it. You're just yeah. sugarcoating it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> some people like it straight note chaser and some like it sweet and that's okay. I need to learn straight note chaser. Well, it depends on the situation. <laughs> I'm a little feisty. You are. I need some of that. <laughs> but sometimes I do like to sugarcoat things. Yeah. So you know, just another few ways to say that, you know, I, I don't agree with you instead of actually pretending that you do agree with someone. I hear you. I have a different opinion. Yeah, I can't go along with that one. I like the one, I'm trying to see it your way, but ultimately I think differently about the situation. So that's kind of what I said. You know. Right. And that's okay. Yeah. It's okay to disagree. Absolutely. You just agree to disagree. Right. 
and ha- and have respect book. for each other. Yes, and their opinions. That respect is so mm-hmm. important. Yep. You still have to respect people, their core beliefs. Yes. And where you have to meet people where they are. That's yep. ultimately what it is. Absolutely. I like that. Start with this respecting yourself, and then yeah. you can respect other people. Yes, girl. It all goes back to those affirmations we were talking about. <laughs> yes, I love it. Some respect. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll save that for commercial break. Another tea topic that is on the menu today <laughs> is kind of getting over that self doubt. Yes. This kind of this is like a full circle segment. Yeah, it is. Going back to those positive affirmations. Just not doubting yourself Mm -hmm. and knowing like you can truly show up for who you are and how you want to show up in the world is so important. Absolutely. And in some ways, I think you can make yourself not be afraid to be uncomfortable. Mm. Yeah. Be uncomfortable. Live Mm. in the uncomfort zone. Oh, yes. Then you're stepping a little bit. It's outside of the box, yes, right? Yes. <laughs> and it's in that zone where you grow. Mm-hmm. Because even when you are uncomfortable, you say, you know, I'm doing something I don't normally do, mm-hmm. but you're always going to learn to take something with you when you do it. Exactly. And I, I want to read this statistic. Um, yes. There's a book, it's called Pay Attention to Your Self Worth. And this is written by Lima. Now, it's Jamie Kern Lima. Mm-hmm. Lima says that 80% of women actually don't realize their worth. Ugh. That's scary. And, it, and I, I believe it. It's sad. That breaks my heart. It does, which is why I think it's really important that women empower each other mm-hmm. because when we empower each other, we then bring our own self-worth up. But let's... This, this, I know. This is emotional today. I didn't know it was going to be this emotional. I know, you know but it's my, important, though. Yeah, my grandmother was a suffragette. She went mm-hmm. to, the, to jail yeah. to the right to vote. Yeah, so this is really... Important. I love this. Okay, well, this is the perfect way to kick off Women's History Month to remind all of our beautiful women and ladies that are out there that you are beautiful, you're important, you are worth it, you can do anything you put your mind to, and we definitely want to encourage you. If you're interested in that book we kind of mentioned by Jamie Kern Lima, it's called Worthy, and we'll make sure you have access to it on our website, studiostl.tv. And St. Louis, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this quick break. Mm-hmm. 